What is up, fellow summoners? Welcome to the channel today. Happy Monday to you. It is nice to be back on the channel, back into the swing of things. And if you caught my opening, which was about, I don't know, four hours ago, um, I was kind of holding out hope that I'd be able to pull a five-star char uh, five character uh, that I could take into Labyrinth of Legends that was going to be doing more damage than the current set of champions that I've got. And not to spoil anything, but it didn't go great. So um, I wanted to go ahead and rank somebody up. I had been thinking about taking up magic for a while now to rank four. So as you can see, I decided to go ahead and do it. I think that she is signature level 57, I think it is. It's either 55 or 57, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, she's my new profile pick, over 9,000 PI. And I immediately took her in to the Labyrinth of Legends just to do a little bit of testing. I was curious as to what kind of damage output she could do. Um, my goal was to be able to kind of lock down with the S2, chain those together, and be very aggressive. And it went fairly well. I want to say that reliably between about three and 400 hits, I could do somewhere around four to 500,000 damage each time and that was with class disadvantage. So I decided to go ahead and put on the uh, Suicide Masteries because I got to thinking, um, you know, I don't use magic a lot, but the specials that you use kick in Limber, and Limber, I think, negates the majority of the recoil damage that you take. So this recording, I think, was my very first fight that I ran in after I turned the Suicide Masteries on, and I will show at the very end of this uh, my current setup, which this is not the setup that I will be using moving forward when I actually do the run. Uh, I will have points that I will move out of the utility and defense to put into the offensive side, uh, but this is just kind of a makeshift Suicide setup just to see what the damage output would be. Um, my, my goal is, like I mentioned, to use the S2 to lock him down. Uh, this will allow me, if I'm playing aggressively, basically to do four hits, uh, swipe back, and then try to catch the intercept every single time. And I would say probably, I don't know, more than 50% of the time, probably like 75% of the time, uh, that works reliably. Uh, the AI is aggressive enough that if you only do four hits, dash back and dash forward, most of the time you can catch him. Um, and this would work. Probably I could get about a thousand hits in per fight. Except at some point it happens to me every single time and it just happened there a few seconds ago. Um, the AI will evade. Thankfully a lot of the time I have Limbo up and so a lot of that damage I can, I can have reversed. But if you are low, um, you have a lot uh, low health, uh, the Limbo is not going to have enough time to save you. He is going to kill you especially when the second enrage timer kicks in. So basically you just kind of have to cross your fingers, play as aggressive as possible to get in as many hits before the timer runs out and just hope that he doesn't evade very often. One of the things that really screwed me when I was doing my testing was if he evades the S2, that really kind of throws me out of my groove and then I have to go back and um, wait for him to use his S1s till he gets up to six stacks of the overheat, wait for that thing to drop off, and then I use the S2 because I want to be attacking him uh, when he has the least amount of those uh, overheat buffs because each one of those does a reduced amount of physical damage. So. Uh, locking him down when he has zero or one. I think he builds up one over time, but not any further than that. Um, so that's that's when you're able to do your most physical damage. Uh, this fight uh, went really, really well. Like I said, I think this was my first, maybe my second fight. I think it was my first. Uh, I recorded a bunch of them. But um, yeah, my first time, I think, running with the Suicide Masteries. And I won't ruin anything for you. You can watch the whole thing. But uh, really, really excited now to, to finally, I think I've got my answer. Uh, Cameron Favi, if you were watching this, shout out to you. You've told me forever to rank her up and to use her. Uh, I had not considered using suicides with her, so I think that this may be a good pairing uh, moving forward. Unfortunately, I don't see myself doing this here within the next, I think like we've got a day, less than a day and a half before the uh, appreciation buff falls off for the 10% attack power. Uh, just couldn't squeeze it in. We were on vacation, couldn't make it happen. But uh, yeah, I, I'm going to sit down, uh, put kind of a timetable together, let you guys know when I will be running Labyrinth of Legends. And it looks like I will be doing it with magic. So enjoy the video. Uh, goes really well. I will just say the evade. <laughs> the evade gets me at the very end. I'll slow it down. It's it's a total BS kill. But uh, yeah, enjoy the, uh, enjoy the fight. And uh, I look forward to be able to give you guys an update when I'll be getting uh, getting getting together everything uh, lined up to run through Labyrinth of Legends. So until I see you guys in the next video, have a great day.